Hello everyone, this tutorial will show you on how to eliminate annoying ads using MyPathic Router. First, let me show you some annoying ads that will automatically pop up during watching YouTube videos and surfing the net. In this video, I teach you two easy methods. One of them is using AdGuard DNS. The other one is using script. I now do the first method. But first, let me go to the browser and show you the annoying ads in speedtest.net. We'll do now the AdGuard DNS. Go to Inbox. Connect. Then Firewall. Not. AdGuard DNS has a default server 176.103.130 For this tutorial, I will use family protection We add a rule The chain is destination not Protocol TCP port 53 The action is destination not the address is for family 176 103 to port 53 and comment Add guard DNS. Apply and copy the rule. We will create a rule for UDP. Okay, apply. Now we are going to test if this rule is effective. Speed test that method. You see that speed test that map is very clean and we don't have annoying ads like we've seen before the second method is by using script this script is effective where you cannot or you have to maintain your DNS server like Google DNS and Open DNS. Right now, I'm deleting the rule. And clean up some history for the second method. We'll test. I will go now to method 2 that 
uses a script first we go to https slash stop ad dot hook dot sh just translate it to English in this page you can see sources the redirect address record limit and this is the script at the bottom of script on how to tie this to our router take a look on the script this is the first part and this one is the second part if we make modification for this one let's say I choose WinHealth 2002 Host and I edit the record limit to 3000 then look at the script the script has been changed For this one, we must copy only the first part of this script and then the last part. This one with fail check certification. We will go now to our router. Go to system script then add the script uh, name it add block then the policy would be read write policy test uncheck the other options and we will copy now the script be sure that you copy the correct part of the script this one then space and the last part this one copy space Before we run the script, let me open the log to see that if the script is working and the IP DNS static. Then run script. You see now the file was downloaded. As you can see in DNS static, the items were added. We are now to test this. method I will clean up now the history another browser 
let us now test the method 2 which is adding the script as you can see there are no ads Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. You can use one of the ways that I teach you in this tutorial. Thank you.